Well, for y'all that don't know it, it's dry. Dry's all get out of here, but I found something crazy. Look at this. Bam. That's a mud hole with water in it. It's crazy. Ain't seen one of them in a good month. Doing a little scouting this morning, checking on beans and whatnot. So, this area right here is a hard packed area where we drive trucks in and out. And it's got a little, a little bit of grass coming up in it. What I'm looking for is blooms. So these beans are blooming. They ain't very tall. That's only like, only like a foot tall. That's okay. And considering the hot dry weather we've had for them to be as tall as they are right now, they're doing good. And these are the checkerboard beans. Get over here where we can see the board, checkerboard better and I'll show you. Okay, you look this way. You got rows going this way. Now we look this way, we got rows going this way. Deer damage. I'll show you some deer damage. Right here. They nipped the leaf off right there. They got this one nipped off. Nipped them off. They short ones over here. So some of the short ones up back up there where the truck's at due to hard pack from coming in and out with vehicles. But once we get out here in the field, the short ones are where the deer nipped them off. Now, if you look right over there towards the edge of the woods, you'll see a blank right on the edge. That's 100% deer damage. There's another little blank right there. That's a, that's your good old wildlife. They uh, consume quite a bit of your crop. So here's some more. So you got them right here. Here, here, top of this one. That's weed, that's dead. Got this one. Got this one. Got this one. Got this one back here. So they nipped it off right in the middle. They nipped the, the main part of the plant off. This one. So, uh, plenty of deer damage. But that is, well, we got the checkerboard out here to try to outgrow the deer. And on weeds right now, looks like we just got, still got clover in the field. Clover. That is just regular run of the mill, white clover. For some reason that stuff is hard to kill. You can knock it back. It's it's tough. There's more clover right here. Now this is old cow pasture and hay ground that we took over. So got some clover clover regrowth. Got a little bit of summer grass coming in, a little bit of crab grass. I don't see nothing else. So we can clean that up with just some glyphor. And like here's a piece of Johnson grass coming up. Took care of that. That's gonna die now. And we got a couple little stalks of corn coming up here, right there. That's just what got spit out the back of combine last year. That is not enough in the field to spray anything for, to spray it, to worry with really. So we won't worry about that. And we're checking insect damage too. So we do got some. There's some damage right there from insects. You look up underneath the plant. Of course, it's hot as all get out out here, so ain't a whole lot of nothing stirring. Don't look like we have any soybean rust or anything coming in yet. 
that's good. I mean, besides uh, what the deer have ate, it looks pretty good. I don't see any insects. There is some insect damage. Probably put a little bit of insecticide down to knock them back. We'll hit them with some, some glyphor. Hmm. So that's a piece of wood over there. It looked like a deer laying there just veiled. Right there. What is it not? That's a that's an old piece of stump. It's like I was saying, we'll hit them with some glyphor to clean up to clean up the grass. And the clover. We'll hit them with a little bit of insecticide to take care of the bugs we have here. Yep, we'll do that. We will hit them with some so glyphor insecticide. We'll hit, some bor hit them with some boron to help set the blooms. Hit them with a growth regulator that's supposed to promote root growth. We've had really good luck with using it the last several years. And hot dry year is a good year to promote root growth. Let's try to get the root to go down instead of out. And we might put a fungicide on them. All in all, it looks decent. They still ain't bushed out good yet and closed up the squares. They will, just haven't yet. <sighs> I mean, the way it is right now, I'd have just gone up there and just spray a bunch of water out. See if it helps some grow something. So, we're going to go check on our spray on the wheat beans. See what kind of kill we got on that. And maybe spray some beans this afternoon. So, we'll catch back up with you then. Down here in the wheat beans. So, we got some that are up right there some that have just came up and some like that right there that is just now breaking out they have probably came up within the last 24 48 hours they look all right so we got some up good Got some that are just coming up. Good news is, look, look, look like we got a good kill off on everything that was up. I can start rowing them pretty good. Not great, but it's a, it's a pretty decent stand. A little more rain on them and everything else will come back up. We're back at it. It is the, uh, the next day. Make it July the 8th. We're spraying some beans. Had some pop up showers come through yesterday, so we didn't spray no beans. So we're in checkerboard beans. You can see the rows going this way, and there's also rows going this way. Gotta go this way. They got. Like yesterday, I told y'all, I got just a touch of grass in them. We're cleaning them up. They're getting close to canopy. I want to get the grass cleaned up before they do that. And then we shouldn't have to spray them anymore for feeds. And it depends on how this rain is. We might come back and spray them a third time. This is the second time. Well, actually, it burned down. Then we put that one over the top. This is the second over the top. So technically, we have sprayed them three times. We might spray them four times. Like I'm saying, it just depends on which weather it is. Dodging tree limbs. The downside of the old X phone. She stands up too high and you gotta dodge tree limbs. 
got to get moved up here so we can jump back in these baits. The yard full blown. Now these baits are interpret baits. So they will bloom. They'll bloom continuously. Well, once they start blooming, they will they will bloom longer than determinate baits. Determinate baits only bloom for like two weeks and they're done. And in determinate baits, they bloom for um, seven weeks, eight weeks. I can't really remember on that. I know they bloom a lot longer than the determinate veins. And now if we're going to get rain, you know you're getting rain. Determinate veins can do good. It says all these are not irrigated with plant indeterminates. On uh, one of the smaller, one of the farms has a bunch of small fields. We got one, two, three fields spread so far. We got one, two, three, four more fields to spray here. So right here on my end rows, if you can see, they look they look like 15 inch row beans. So what I did is I planted one pass around and I scooted over 15 inches and planted the same pass again. But then the rest of them are checkerboard. I just did that on the first pass around, so I got plenty of beans there. As I'm planting at a, uh, since I was planting planting at a lower population, I was planting at a population for 15 inch row beans. So each pass, I just put down about, oh, about 65,000. So it should give us a final stand for around 130. And, you know, the beans look good. We got a little spot of grass out there we're about to take care of. All in all, they look good if you can see right down here. There's just a smidge of grass. That's some crab grass coming up. Besides that crabgrass, they, they look pretty good. We got one, we got a bean eater on the field right now. Get out of here, dear! I said, get out of here! Look over before we hit the road. Make sure everything's all right. Got to lower my track back down. It looks okay. All the bolts are in it. Nothing looks too looks messed up. Lower it down. Yeah, we're good to go. Tires are both tired. Hands down. We're good to go. Brakes locked together. Get the brake out. And we're good. Oh. Got a turn for the flight. The flight's my flash. Managed to get up on the third car for a have a whole lot left in the sprayer. If I was able to make a lap around the field, get all my end row spray, 
and I'll let them go down and back. And since it's Friday afternoon, I'm going to go ahead and call it. I already had a couple of close calls coming over here. Right in and whatnot. Everybody's in a big hurry to pass you. And, uh, <coughs> y'all have got to sick up with these, but the camera went down. One of them, first of all, me on Delta Yellow in a flying car and almost hit an oncoming car head on. I had to run her down the next one, too. Yep, you know, but. I didn't want to get in the wreck in the tractor. I run off road a little bit, but then people all see each other head off. And yeah, I'm safe, and they're probably really need to be right now. I don't know. That's what we called our third day. I could easily go back up, and spark up, and run another two hours, run right till the door. Actually, three hours, run right till the door. I want to. I do, but I don't. Too many close calls. I'm going to get back on the road and head home. Welcome back to Mid Ten, y'all. We're on a different farm now. And we are on 30 inch beans. So, all we're doing bother fertilizer, uh, growth promoter. <clears throat> a little bit of second side and a little bit of glide forward to clean up what few pieces of grass are in here. And we think we can carry the beans to canopy like that. But they, they look they look pretty clean. Good news is we got rain last night. It's trying to rain here. It was raining. You see them grain bins way over there. It's raining over at the neighbors. The rain is split and went around. And I have about a five hour window between the next rain. So it should give me time to get these beans done and have it sit here long enough to be effective. At least that's the game plan. Yeah, I didn't know anything to do that. I guess I, I guess I got a full row row lap. Then y'all, shut your back up. Show you something. So I got a checkerboard right here. So the bank's coming this way, but for 30 inch runs it this way. So what these right here are from up there all the way that way. Those roads 
marble fry I've got I got done to burn the end back up there in that corner and I still had some veins left so I just even out all the hoppers and I started just dragging it up on the road to run it out because so this field was the last field of pools these veins were planted and if we got a bay let's say I planted them finish these up on my time. 10th, 12th of May, and we didn't plant wheat beans till like the 20th of June. So it was going to be well over a month, but I didn't want to leave them beans sitting in the planter. So that's why I had that small section check. Let's go to Franklin for a day, folks. Like always, the good Lord's will, catch you on the flip side. Till the next.